I have made over a thousand videos on this channel. Let that sink in for just a minute. I started in September of 2020. Now I have been podcasting longer than that, but I started the YouTube channel in September of 2020. And I really started making true, honest to God Linux videos in December of that year. Before that, it was just the podcast. And since then, like I said, I've made a th over a thousand videos. That's bonkers. It's just absolutely insane. There, there are channels that are 10 years older than mine that haven't got to a thousand, thousand videos yet. So I make a lot of videos. Now, I am not on Brody's level, who makes one every day. I don't know. That man's a machine. But I've made a lot of videos. And over the course of the last four years and those thousand videos, I've made some stinkers. Ones that I really wish that I hadn't pressed that upload button on because they were just bad ideas or not done well or various other reasons why I just have regrets. So today, what I thought it would be fun to do, seeing as how I, like I said, I've gone past a thousand videos, is talk about five videos that I actually regret making. So let's go ahead and do this. This shouldn't be embarrassing at all. But before we jump in, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It'd really help the channel because I promise you there'll be stinkers to come and the more likes I get, the more less stinkier I get. I, I don't know how that works. Whatever. <laughs> let's go ahead and jump in and talk about my top five most regretted videos. And we'll start off with the one that everyone's probably thinking. If you've watched my channel for a number of time, you've probably heard all about this one here. Linux Mint is a useless distro. Now, I will stand by my ideas that Linux Mint should not do both Ubuntu and Debian. That's basically what this video is about. But I definitely worded that title in a way that caused some saltiness on the part of everyone. Like, <laughs> I don't think that there's anyone out there who isn't at least somewhat offended by that title I, in some way or fashion. I, I don't, it, it really touched a nerve. Now, granted, I published this, oh, I don't even know when it, I published this four years ago. That was December 16th, 2020. It was one of my very first videos. Like, I, I, like I said, I really truly started publishing actual videos in just December of 2020. So this is probably like my 10th video or something like that. And I learned on YouTube that if you want to have people view your shit, you use a title that causes them angst. And so I did. And I created this. And it was so bad, I had to turn the comments off. <laughs> now, in my defense, I waited, it was like a year and a half or two years after this video was published where I turned the comments off. But I was getting death threats from various people in the comment sections. Like, they told me to go kill myself. It was horrendous. Now, I did not pull the video down. It will stay up in perpetuity. In perpetuity, people can go watch this thing and just realize every once in a while I'll make one that just pisses people off and... Uh, use a title that really, really upsets people. So that's that's the most obvious one that I do. I, yeah, I do regret. I don't regret making the video, but I regret titling it that. Let's put it that way. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one here. Now, this is this is a long-term review. It's my NixOS review. And I used NixOS on a secondary computer for nine months or so. I used it on a alternative hard drive for many months, but I did not use it full time. And my biggest regret for NixOS is that I did not put as much effort into it as I needed to. This is a very complex distro with a lot of stuff, and if you, the majority of this review is not bad, but when you get to the flakes part, it's really disappointing. I just did not do a good job. Almost the minute I published, I realized, Matt, you didn't do a good job in this review. You needed to spend more time on it. It should have been 12 months or however long it needed to be. I definitely should have put more effort into it, and I regret not doing that. So I will fix this eventually with something else with NixOS in the future. As of right now, no, no. But eventually, I mean, this is a 35-minute video where I just did not put as much effort into it as I needed to. And it has led to regrets. But again, it's still up there, so you can go watch it and see how bad it actually is. So there you go. That's my NixOS review. And like I said, I just didn't do a good enough job on it. So uh, I regret that. The next one on the list is this one. <laughs> now, th again, this was published in 
uh, actually just a few days, uh, about 10 days before the the Linux Mint one. So December 5th. Again, one of my very first v videos. It only has 709 views. That's how long ago this was. And <laughs> you know what? I will stand by the general idea that Ubuntu web shouldn't exist. I don't even know if it still does exist, but there's a big problem with the ransacking of this distro that I did in this video. Like I, I, I said horrible things about this distro. I think I re refrained from saying anything bad about the developer because I didn't know who the developer was, but I will say that I really did not like this distro. I thought it was stupid and I didn't think that I thought the developer was a waste of time, right? Like the, the developer had just wasted his time. Turns out the developer was like 14 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't find out until after I published it that this was a kid. The, the kid had actually done this. And, and when you put that into perspective, it's very impressive. And especially when they have, you realize that they have other Ubuntu spins or they, they had other Ubuntu spins and they put all this effort into learning Linux and doing all this Ubuntu stuff and actually becoming an official flavor on one of their, their flavors and all this stuff. You learn all this impressive stuff this kid had done. And one of my first videos was to say, you're an idiot. You shouldn't be doing this. You should not do this. <laughs> so yeah. Matt, realize who the developers are before you make a distro review telling them to stop making distros and be nicer. I guess those are the lessons I should take a look because I was mean. Like I was downright mean. Now, some of that is some of the reasons I feel that way is because the, you know, it was a kid. I, I think I would feel less like that if it were an adult, like an, an old, a, a gray beard. If it was a gray beard who done this. I, I would have I had no regrets at all. So yeah, I just didn't, you know, picking on a kid. So it would, if it made me feel bad. So yeah, I regret that one. <laughs> this one here is so stupid. So this is one of my biggest flops of all time. And this one actually wasn't that long ago. It was in 2023. And <laughs> again, the clickbaity title aside, like it definitely is clickbait. This is about installing iTunes on Linux. I thought this was a really good idea, right? Cause I thought, you know, there has to be other people out there who who miss iTunes in a way that not like not like they you know miss it in a romantic sense or whatever, but they miss being able to have a cohesive experience when it comes to music and video and stuff like that as a native application. And I thought, well, hey, let's see if we can install iTunes on Linux. And it turns out you can, uh, but it's not good or usable, and you definitely shouldn't try it because it's just not. A good experience but I thought for sure that there'd be more people who would actually you know care about that but it it you know yeah it got 3.2 thousand 3.2 thousand views but at that point I was getting fives and sixes and it was just a big flop for me also people in the comment section weren't kind like why would you want to do this to yourself this is hor you know horrendous you know why would I want to do this to myself you know, all these sorts of things and overall, yeah, just not one of my better decisions. And, you know, it didn't hurt anything, but it was still definitely not something that needed to be done. So there's that one. My last one on the list is this one here, the top 100 Linux commands. Now, I planned this video for over a year. I put a ton of effort into it. I did graphics for everyone. I did a GIF for every single command that I had in this video. So over 100 GIFs, GIFs, whatever. Uh, for every single command, I did timestamps for every single one. I, like, like, like I have a hundred timestamps in this. I didn't even know you could do a hundred timestamps in a video, but you can. And yeah, it, it eventually got up to seven thousand views. But one of the reasons why I regret it is just because it was so much work, and it did not do as well as I'd hoped. Like, I, I thought. Now, granted, it's not YouTube's fault. It's not anyone's fault but my own. I had very high expectations for this video. I thought it was going to go viral. I thought, you know, it was going to get like 100,000 views. It didn't. Uh, I put, and that's the reason why I put so much effort into it, because I, I figured, you know, I put this much effort into it, and eventually, I'm, you know, it's going to be really, really good. I mean, it did fine, but definitely not for the level of effort that put into it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, those are the five videos that I regret making the most. Now, I probably could have come up with another five if I put more effort into it and just thought about it for a little bit longer. 
there are a few out there that were just downright flops and that's just those just happen every once in a while sometimes you have a video idea and nobody cares there are have been several times during the course of the channel where i've switched to something or made a video about me switching to something where i would then switch to it for about two hours and then switch directly back to whatever it was i was using i've done that many times so i didn't even bother picking out one of those videos i i, I if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I like to change my mind about things. And like the just the other day, I tweet I tweeted out that I was switching to Firefox. Three hours later, I was back on Vivaldi. Firefox just pissed me off. <laughs> like there was it just didn't have the features that I wanted it to. And I'm happy in Vivaldi. I don't know why I wanted to switch to Firefox. It was a complete use of time. But I've done that a lot on the channel, and those have spawned some regrets over the years. But I didn't want to put them on this list because I'd have too many choices. <laughs> There's just too many, too many times that's, that's happened. So those are the videos that I regret making that I wanted to just point out for you guys. Just thought I'd have a little bit of fun. So if you have thoughts on any of the stuff, you can leave those in the comment section below. You don't have to get in there and tell me, like, oh, Matt, you're, you're fine. Those videos are fine. Or like, I appreciate if you're, you're thinking, you know, Matt, you're putting yourself down. I, I'm not putting myself down. Every, every YouTuber ever has put at least one video out there, no matter how many they've made, that they just would like to have back. I'm no different. This is not, I'm, there are some videos out there that I think are absolutely awesome. I've done a really good job. I, I'll pat myself on the back, you know, for many of my videos. But there are some stinkers, and there's no shame in admitting that you're not perfect. So there you go. Uh, comments in the comment section below. If you want to follow me, you can do so uh, on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast or on YouTube or Kofi. Those links will also be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. Thank you guys for supporting me through over a thousand videos of this nonsense. I truly do appreciate it without you guys. Seriously. Yeah, I don't know we would have made it to a thousand videos without you. So thank you for your support. Thanks everybody for watching if you watched all thousand videos um i don't think there's anybody actually who's watched all thousand videos if you if you have watched every single one of my videos comment in the comment section below uh, and i will personally apologize <laughs> anyways that's it for this one thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time